Welcome to 3D Movie Cinema, the only show that's three dimensions away from WB Discovery, buying prey, and dissolving it for nothing. I'm your host, 3D Jake, and today we're looking at Prey from 2022. Prey is like a sort of a prequel to Predator in a way where, think of it like Prometheus and Alien, kind of like that. Only, you know, like, it's set like a, in the Comanche times, and the Predator is essentially arrives on his first hunt on Earth, as so we're led to believe. And so the Predator's hunt, where it's hunting this Comanche girl, who basically wants to prove herself, and so that's what she does, to prove herself. And so, as, and then of course, there's the French pioneers who show up, and they're on the planet, on this, this new lands, and the Native American lands. And so basically, she's there to, like, hunt, try to prove herself for her tribe, and then of course the Predator shows up, and chaos ensures. I will say, I really like this movie. Like, I was not expecting like it. Like, here's the full story. When I heard Dan Trachtenberg was directing this movie, I actually like, you know, him as a director. I like the way he did on The Boys, and I really like him and, you know, Cloverfield Lane he, movies he did. And so I was really looking forward. I was like, you know what, you know? I was like, I was really looking forward to what he was going to do in the rest of his career. When I heard he was making a Predator movie, I was like, all right. And then, of course, when I heard he was making about, like, a Native American, the Native American town, I was like, why do they got to keep reinventing the wheel? Okay, I was like, come on. I was like, just make it a sequel to the first movie. Put Arnold back in the jungle and another predator hunting. That's all we want as fans. And they just gotta keep trying to reinvent the world. Make it like, oh, this one, it's like, there are no, and this side of the jungle, it's Predator in Los Angeles. Or this one, it's Predator, but on an alien planet. But it's a jungle alien planet. Or in this one, it's Alien fighting a predator in Antarctica. Or in this one, it's an alien fighting a predator in the in a New Jersey town or a Colorado town. And then no wait, you know wait, if you don't like that one, it's a predator movie, but it's in the suburbs and it's funny. It's a comedy. And I'm just like, why do they got to keep changing up the genre? It went from like they're changing it up in different scenarios to now it's like, oh, now we're changing up the genre entirely. And so I was like, okay, and so now this one, it's like, all right, but now it's a predator, but in this time, it's hunting Native Americans in the 1700s. And I'm like, when I heard about that, I was like, this sounds so stupid. It's like, but then someone hyped me up for it, and it was like, because, you know, I mean, there's, I, I'm a big fan, you know, the movie Pocahontas. And so I, and my, my, I, you know, come from Native American background. My great-grandmother is Native American, and she was actually part of, you know, a tribe that she actually would, you know, she actually has, a, you know, a settlement, you know, in a sense where she, you know, has a certain amount of land from her and Native American background. Sure, that's what my, that's what my grandmother was telling me about, you know, her mother saying that she actually says, you know, you do have Native American in you. And I was like, oh, I did not know that, you know, I learned something every day. She's like, yeah, she says, my mother actually, she said she actually has enough in her where she could actually claim land on there. And she actually did claim land, and so that's where she lived. And I was like, I did not know that. You find, I found something else. It's a fun fact about mine. But, you know, I was like, well, I did not know that my grand, my great-grandmother was part of a tribe. I was like, and I was like, but so I, was, I always wondered. I was like, huh, that's cool. But, yeah, so that's what my, my grand, I actually watched this movie with my grandmother, and she actually really liked this movie, and she said it was really nice. And I watched it also with my aunt, and I watched it by myself. And I was like, I really enjoyed it. Like, I think after three to watching it, you really, really enjoy it. I mean, when I first watched it, I thought it was pretty good. But then I watched it again, and I was like, oh, it's actually pretty good. And then I watched third time, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> and after, after you watch it three times, you kind of get annoyed. But I watched it three times, and I'm like, all right, you know, I'm got everything, all my notes are ready to say. And what I, I will say about this is I will think uh, the, the girl who plays, you know, the girl, lead girl, uh, my, I don't know his name was Amber Mindhunter, Mindbender. Uh, she does a great job, in, uh, you know, in the role, and she actually believed. I actually felt like she really did, you know, she really was part of this tribe, and she really wanted to, you know, actually do herself. And I really think that, you know, it was, you know, I really think that, that she was her and her brother really have. I felt like they were strong. He really did feel like it wasn't like the cliche brother that's like, oh, you can't do nothing. Like he actually did want her to succeed in life. 
And he's like, but, you know, and finally he has to tell the truth. Like, look, you're just not built for this. And then, you know, later on, but he still has faith in her to where he loves her. Like, he, and it's not like, you know, where it's like the whole time movie, he's like, he's rooting for her to succeed. But then, you know, she doesn't succeed. And then finally he has to tell her, like, after she almost dies, that, like, you can't do this, you know? And just, and she literally, and I know some people complain on, like, well, how come she can kill a predator? She can't kill a bear, but she can kill a predator. And I'm just like, dude, come on. I was like, she literally, like, the predator, like, she, because the predator doesn't know this area. The predator doesn't know how to hunt and stuff. Like, this predator gets tore up by a bear. You know, if the predator wasn't stronger than the bear, you know, like, if the predator had more advanced technology, it could have literally, that bear would have killed the predator. And also, like, it literally cheats in the movie by, like, using invisibility to kill a rattlesnake and to kill this and that. And I'm just thinking, like, you know, like, the predator cheats a lot in this movie. And... Also, like, you know, like, because the predator, like, every time it sees something, like, it kills a coyote by cheating. And it just, like, it keeps cheating. That's how it keeps winning. If it didn't have its technology, it would probably get killed by whatever prey is out there. You know, it'd be the prey, really. And so, you know, what I really like about this movie is I really like, you know, how, like, it felt authentic. I've not watched the Comanche cut yet, but I have watched the, 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 the movie three times. And I will say I did like the cast. I thought the cast was really well. Um, I really like the Predator in this movie. Even I like how they keep focus. Like, I've always felt like the focus should always be on the human protagonist and not on the Predator. Because if you keep it on the human Predator, you have to keep him mysterious, keep him in the jungle. What's he doing? So when he does come in, I felt like he came out at the right times in the movie. I didn't feel like he come in at the wrong times in the movie. I felt like that was what I really liked about this movie. I thought it was well shot, too. For a movie that was on Hulu, I was like, oh, it's going to be a cheaply made movie. But no, it felt like a real, like, this could have been in theaters. That's how well it was done. I love the marketing for the movie. And I like how, like, you know, the poster looked of her, you know, with the, you know, like, you know, instead of, like, the war paint is the Predator's blood on there. I thought that was so great. And I thought that was really uh, amazing. And I also really liked that, you know, the dog. The dog was so adorable in the movie. I just thought that was so cute. And I, I really like, you know, like, the moments, like, where you think, oh, it's, I, I'm glad that nobody come and rescued her. And I like the aspect of, like, that they acknowledge that, oh, the Predator, you don't have weapons. The Predator's not, you're not part of its game. It only hunts the people. Like, it's, it kind of is picking up on notes. Like, okay, the big prey hunts the little prey. Or the little prey, you know, like, it's always, like, it's taking notes of, okay, if the you're you're the predator and that's the prey. And so it's picking up on that. So it's like, I need to hunt the predator. I'm a predator. And I need to hunt the other predators. You know, these Yantawas hunt the predators. And so I thought that was really great about that. And I like that about that, really. And I also really liked, you know, like, you know, how, like, it sets up, like, there could be more Predator movies in the future. And it kind of has not, not the Predator 2, even though a lot of people don't like Predator 2. I thought it was okay, the original Predator 2. I know it's not my favorite, but I like it, in a sense. Um, but I understand, like, I like the Easter eggs and stuff it has in it and everything. And I like the nods. And I also really like, you know... I thought the bear sequence was fine. I know the CGI does, like, there are some pet peeves I do have. Like, I feel like the set CGI wasn't as great, especially with the bear. And, like, you know, like, the rattlesnake wasn't that great looking. And, you know, some, like, the wolf and stuff. Just some of the CGI I thought was a little neat, a little, a little bit tweaked. I just think it could have a little tweaked a little bit. I did like the scene, though, where the Predator is killing all the French, you know, all the French pioneers, just murdering them in the village. And I also really like that, you know, in the... I know some people complain about her killing, like, all those, you know, French guys in the village. But I'm like, oh, that's fine. I mean, like, you know, I thought it was clever. I also thought it was clever when she cuts the French guy's leg off. And then, of course, like, he gets him to come get his gun. And then all of a sudden, the Predator shows up and murders him. I like how she, they don't include the mud. Instead, she has to take this, like, drug that stops her heart. I thought that was clever. They come up with new ways for the Predator not to see you. I just thought that was clever. And I also thought, you know, um, I also like the Predator's design look. I understand some people complain that, oh, it doesn't look like the original. I understand, but that's supposed to be, like, it's supposed to, I guess, evolving into, like, the Predator look. Or that's probably the Super Predators from Predators. But I really do like that. Uh, that also, I did like, you know, like, it's not called Predator. It's called Prey, so it's kind of introducing you. Like, I will say, as a Predator movie, it's disappointing compared to, like, say, the original. But if you put it, like, as an original movie, I thought it would be much better, like, because it doesn't feel at times like a Predator movie because it's supposed to say you're supposed to acknowledge this lore but with the gun and everything we're acknowledging this lore but at the same time we're not not like you know like and there's like some stuff like if they're trying to say oh well, this is a set well, I don't know if this is set but they're trying to say it was set in the same universe as Alien versus Predator but then if you look at that timeline they were right before them but they're saying it's the first Predator so just like it's convoluted timeline and so that's 
you know, that's why I kind of come conflicted saying we're supposed to acknowledge this as a prequel, but really this is not really a prequel. You know, it's almost like it's, it's almost like the timeline of like with Alien and Prometheus, you know, but I'm like, just if you ignore it, turn your brain off, it's fine. But I mean, at the same time, I really did enjoy this movie. Um, I will complain one thing. I do hate the French people. I do hate the French people, especially, you know, like, you know, the, the fat one where he's like, <laughs> I mean, they come off like Peter Pan villains, like, you know, like they're Captain Hook's henchmen, pirate henchmen. Like, they're just going like, <laughs> I just started laughing. Like, the second time I watched it, I started laughing because it's just like, how stupid they are. I'm like, they couldn't do another take. I'm like, look, come on. You're not, you're not from the movie Hook, okay? Come on. You okay, wrong movie. You got to be serious, okay? You know, you start, you can poke them, but you just don't like, <laughs> you're not a pirate, okay? You're not from ch a children's movie either. This, <laughs> I just thought that was the stupidest thing ever. But uh, other than that, I did enjoy this movie. I thought it was fun. It's not my favorite Predator movie, but I think it's really up there as a top ten, uh, as a top five, you know, movies. And so I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, you know, t and so I will say, if I had to give it a grade, I give a solid B plus. Thank you so much.